Yo, what up? It's your boy Amir Perry. Welcome back to the channel for another episode of Desk Dope. You know, I feel like it's been forever since I uploaded a video, man. Like, work has been consuming my life, but I am grateful, I am thankful for the opportunities that have been presented to me and to be able to do what I love and to earn a living, man. That's a blessing in itself. But it takes me away from my video, so I haven't had time to sit down and do this for you guys. I've been working on beats, but I haven't been able to set up and do them the way I like to do them for my videos or whatever. But here we are, I finally got some time. So my brother sent me this loop and I thought it would be cool to do a video on this, just collabing with him. He lives in San Antonio, but he sent me this. He was like, man, put some on top of it and just see what you come up with. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pull it in Pro Tools, loop it, and then vibe with it, all right? So let's just get right into it. So like I said, my brother sent me this sample and it's just a synth uh, sample. It's a cool little riff, I'ma play it for you. I think he got it from my boy Marlon. Man, Marlon, if you're watching this, please send me the drive with all of the sounds on there. Please, I need that. My boy Marlon, he is like a hoarder of sounds. Like his sound libraries that he have is so extensive. It's crazy, but send me the damn drive. Uh, text me so I can give you my address or whatever, but let's listen to it. So, so that's basically what we got. And we just, since we already got like the melody, that's pretty much going to be like the melody, uh, the foundation of the whole beat. We're just going to start adding some drums. So let's get right to it. All right, so next we got the kick drum, but before we do that, I wanna share with you guys a little trick that I use uh, when I'm producing a lot of times, like with my kicks and my, and my uh, snare drums. What I like to do is I try to tune those to the key of the song. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm listening for the root key of whatever the song is in. I'm listening to the tone of the kick drum or the snare drum, and I try to match it to that. Now, I play by ear. So everything, you know, like me learning piano and stuff like that, I can hear things and I can just play it, you know, by listening to it. And I know it may be a little bit more difficult for people who don't, but you just got to kind of listen to the tone of whatever the uh, song is in and just kind of feel around until you hear one that sounds like, okay, this sounds like it's is kind of blending in with the song. You know what I'm saying? So, cause w once you hear it, once you hear the pitch of the kick or the snare, it's gonna kind of blend in with the song a lot better than one that's out of key. This is the C note for this kick and that's cool, but this note is actually gonna sound better playing inside the track. And I'll play it for you. I'm gonna play with the, uh, with the C note and then I'm gonna play the other one so you can hear the difference. Now, listening to that, I don't know if most of you guys can really hear what I'm hearing, but this kick, it just blended in with the beat opposed to that note. Um, and, it, and it's real subtle, you know what I'm saying? It's a subtle thing that I do, but I feel like it helps with the whole cohesiveness of the beat. <laughs> 
You know what I'm saying? But you guys can try that. That's just a little something that I do. You don't necessarily have to do it, but I feel like it um, It just kind of gives the beat just that little bit of edge or a little bit uh, of an enhancement, I guess you could say. So let's add that kick drum. All right, so next we got the 808. You know we got to put some boom on that bitch. What's a beat without the boom? Nothing. All right, so up next we got a sound. It's from Contact, uh, it's in the Excel library, and it's actually a vocal sound, but we're gonna be using it kind of like a snare, and we're gonna be placing it on top of the clap and the uh, snare that we already added. It sounds like this. Basically sounds like a, a, a block or something with a big reverb. I don't know if that's what it is or not, but it's called Shopping Tall. But uh, let's add that uh, on top of what we got. Right, so we got a good foundation so far. I'm totally fine with what we have and with that being the verse part. But what I want to do is I want to change up the beat a little bit. So when we go into the chorus, it's something a little bit different than what we've been listening to. And we'll probably use this like for the intro part. So uh, I got this sound from uh, X-Band. You know our old faithful X-Band. You know I love it. It's one of my favorite plugins. This sound is called Propaganda Bass. It sounds like this. So let's uh let's add that. All right, so up next we're going right back to expand. We got a sound that's called Harpy Line. It's like a guitar and a uh, harp combined, and it sounds like this. And with this sound, we're gonna be playing something, but I kinda of want it to feel like a sample. So we're not gonna quantize it or anything. We're just gonna kinda of let it be whatever it is. So let's add that. So like I said, I want that sound to kind of feel like a sample. So we're going to enhance it a little bit further. I went ahead and added this plug in. It's called M Rhythmizer by Melda Production. If you watch like some of my other videos, you know I use this. But uh, this 50% speed is like my go-to preset for stuff. And I always like to play with the uh, dry, wet knob. And, uh, you know, I'll bring it down. You know, 100% is always, you know, sometimes it works, but it's always too much for me. Uh, so I usually bring it down to between 50 and 70%. So let's hear that sound and what this did to it. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I got this other plug in from Isotope. It's called Vinyl. I hadn't really used this. I downloaded it a while ago, but let's try it out. Let's try it out on here.
I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, so for the most part, there's not a whole lot more that I want to add in this, but I got this piano I want to add just like the uh, last sound that we added, the harpy line or whatever it was called. Um, we want it to kind of feel like a sample, so uh, we're going to put it in a big reverb and just kind of play some notes, but not nothing too crazy. It sounds like this. All right, so let's uh, let's add that. All right, so I'm happy with what we got. Let's just give it one good listen from the top and see what it sounds like. Always, thank you guys so much for watching man shout out to my brother for sending me that loop and look I want to collab with some of you guys as well so I'm gonna put my email address right down here send me a loop or something man let's collab make sure you put your uh, producer name and your uh, IG handle so cuz I want to tag you guys in the videos or whatever when I do it but I want to do one of the next videos with doing a collab with some of you guys out there other producers so let's uh let's work so drop me that email and until next time Arrivederci